What's up guys? Welcome back to the Scales Family Reptiles. And in today's video, we're gonna be showing off all of our available animals. Check it out. All right, so first up, we have these two beautiful females. They are Pastel Mojave, I believe Sandblast, so they're possible Sandblast Pides. And there are females and they are available. This one, 800, this one, 1,000. Check them out, let me know, females number one and two. Don't pass up on these. Next up, we have a beautiful leopard, 66% Het Ultra Male Male, and he is ready to breed. Let's check it, look at that ringer right there. Even though he's 66% Het, I'm almost guaranteeing that that's gonna prove out, because that ringer just don't come from nothing. It's crazy. Look at it, even on the belly, just beautiful. And this little guy has been in the collection for a while now, about a year. Um, we just decided to go away from the Ultra Male project, because we have so much other things going on. So, if you want this little guy, 300 bucks. He is all yours. Remember, Leopard, 66% Het Ultra Male. So these next two came from our Sandblast project, and now some weird things going on with it. So as you can see, there's there's one eye stripe on this side. Oh, he's not gonna show it off. But this side is missing half of the eye stripe. Now, we do have some that are missing the whole eye stripe, so this is like the fourth baby with that. And this, I believe, is a pewter, possible Sandblast, female and she's gonna be hit me up if you want her so she is a beautiful pewter and she does have like a little paradox spot on her nose as well possible sandblast pied uh, just so I can show you what we're talking about so see this one no eye stripe Crazy paradox, this side, normal eye stripe. All right, here's one. This thing's craziness. Uh, and let's go to the, a few more of these, show them off. And I don't know if this is genetic or not. Eye stripe, totally normal pied. If you flip to the other side, nothing. Just, yeah, I don't know if it's our line of sandblast or cinnamon or what's doing it, but we have multiple, multiple males and females from this from this line that eye stripe, no eye stripe. And this one's got a crazy paradox as well. They're all like genetic paradoxes. I don't know, it's three different clutches and four different animals, four or five different animals, so I don't know if it's genetic where I'm just the luckiest man in the world, but hit me up if you want to get into that project because that little one's kind of got it. So let me know. Well, as I'm sitting here editing, I'm realizing I'm saying they're pewter pies, uh, which is cinnamon pastel. These are actually black pewter pies, which is black pastel pastel. Um, same gene, cinnamon and black pastel, but you know, got to keep the lines separate. So black pewter pies, possible sandblast, all 50% head albino. All right, guys, so this one is another one from that same clutch. It is a pewter possible sandblast. I don't know if I can see if I can get some of that in there. It's beautiful coloring in there. Pewter possible sandblast um, pied female. This is the only one with a little color on its tail, which is beautiful. I love it. Honestly, these babies are gorgeous. I haven't even shown them off yet, but this video is special to me because I need room. So buy my snakes because I have so much more clutches coming and this rack is about full. So I'm letting go a couple that we wouldn't normally let go, um, like the, I, the one with the eye stripe, stuff like that, but you know, these females, but we gotta, we gotta make room. We have so many projects right now. Uh, so here you go. This is that girl again. She is a pewter, pied, possible sandblast. Oh, and 50% head albino as well. So all these from this clutch is all 50% head albino as well. Don't sleep on these. All right, so the very next one, same clutch. Um, this looks like a pewter, probable sandblast. Not positive on this. I mean, it's pr 
pretty faded right there. Maybe a low expression sand blast, het pied, 50% head albino. It's got a lot of that washing out on the tail, ringers on the tail. Uh, beautiful little boy, it's actually a boy. So um, we're gonna do him pretty cheap. We'll do normal sand blast males, we'll do a thousand. We're gonna do 300 on this boy just because I'm not guaranteeing the sand blast. He looks pretty faded on there. Pretty cool. Um, so we'll do 300 and you know what, it's a male, so this year you can try to prove him out. And if he does prove, well there you go. You just got yourself into the Sandblast project and also 50% head albino. Check him out. Beautiful. And they're eating great. <laughs> Here comes another male. Uh, this is from our world's first champagne Enchi to Black Pewter Sandblast Het Pied, our Pewty Arc Urban Camo making male. So this is a, what I believe to be, Champagne Enchi Sandblast. It's also a 50% Het Pied, but I don't think that'll prove out because usually the Champagne Het Pieds have some big ringers. Um, he doesn't look like a normal Champagne Enchi like the mom. The head's a little different. The, the patterning's definitely a little different. I'm pretty sure that that's the Sandblast doing that. Uh, no one's ever made a champagne and cheese sandblast or a champagne sandblast besides us in the last few clutches, so I can't guarantee it, but I'm pretty dang sure that's got sandblast in there. He is just a stunning little guy. Um, he's going to be listed at 500. I don't want to sell him, but if I have to, I will check him out. Beautiful. The only reason he is going up is because we made the same thing, but with black pastel in it, so... One extra gene, that means the little man's gotta go. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys know, these are the uh, Sandblast Champagnes. So, pewter Sandblast Champagne. These crazy white ringers. Um, I'm not sure if that's a super cinnamon champagne past, so like a gray matter urban camo. Um, or if it's just a pewter Sandblast Champagne. Uh, it's crazy though. The white ringers are really coming out. Heads are crazy. This one too. Just, I wish you, the camera would pick up these these colors in their sides. It doesn't a lot. It's actually got big white like pied um, chunks in there. This one shows it a little better. But it's like white and it's that weird cream color. And then there's that sand blasty like um, patches in there. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And, and in that same clutch, we hatched two that are completely white. Uh, not bells, but, so not bell, not ivory. So the only thing, what, what I'm assuming this is, is I'm pretty sure this is a super cinnamon champagne het pied. Possible sandblast, possible pastel. Gray matter, urban camo. Not sure if this is it or not. Um, it's kind of a gamble. Because if it, it well, was it, I'd probably keep it. I made two of them, a male and a female. Um, I'm thinking of maybe putting the male up. This is the male right here. Just absolutely stunning. He's almost pink. Like, it's crazy. It's not a bell, not the cystic or nothing like that. But it's almost pink. And you can kind of see it in camera, but you can really see it. His whole body's like, just insane. But I think I'm going to list him for a week. Maybe I'll, I'll let it sit up for a week and see if he goes. Um, I'm just going to put him up for 2500 and see if some somebody wants to get crazy and try to, try to prove him out and see if they get a really expensive world's first snake and take the risk on him. Um, I mean, at minimum, he's got to be super cinnamon champagne. Het pied, I mean, minimum, to get the all white in there. So a gray matter, het pied, possible sandblast, possible pastel. Beautiful. Tell me what you think. All right, so up next from that same clutch, this is a pastel, pretty sure it's a pastel sandblast, 66% het pied, 50% het albino. Check it out. I don't believe, that's definitely not just a normal pastel. It's got crazy pixelations. Um, 
to be very shy right now. Really cool uh, patterning, just a little more brand than normal. Nothing crazy, but with the pixelation and everything in there and the sand blasting being so subtle and pastel, um, we've hashed out enough now that I can pretty much, I can pretty much spot it in the pastels but I'm pretty sure this is a pastel sandblast double head albino pied. Um, obviously 50% head albino and 66% head pied, but beautiful girl and we'll do her at 250, eh, 225, 225. This beautiful girl right here. Definitely don't sleep on that jean. Getting close to the end, but check this little thing out. She is beautiful. So this is a GHI vanilla, 100% het hypo or ghost, whatever you want to call it. Um, she is gorgeous, and I believe she might be scaleless head now. She's not really missing much, much on there, but her last scale before the vent, I don't know if I can show you that. Her last scale is split right there. And I believe that's an indication of scaleless head. Um, now the dad was a scaleless head. There is a two more girls that are more, that are actual scaleless head. Um, and they have split vents and the other ones in this clutch did not have split vents. So I'm assuming, yes, it's just a low expression scaleless head. Um, you can see a little bit right there. I don't know. I think scaleless head itself, just makes them pop a little more. They're just a little brighter. I really like it. Um, I'm not really trying to make scaleless itself, but actually getting scaleless head in things, I think is amazing. Check that out. This beautiful girl. Um, I think she's world first with the adding hypo and scaleless head in there. Um, let's do 500 for this female. If you act now, <laughs> that's playing. But yeah, 500 bucks for this beautiful girl. Uh, well started. Uh, she's an eating machine. So she, I mean, she, I think she's what, third or fourth clutch of this year. I mean, she's already got decent weight on her. Beautiful. Imagine the hypo version of that. Um, and now let's see the, uh, her sister was also available. And she absolutely glows. Look at this little girl right here. Just Stunning, just craziness. So this, I believe, is a GHI Mojave. I think it's a GHI Mojave Vanilla Scaleless Head, 100% Het Hypo slash Ghost. Can you imagine having that with Hypo in it? This girl is a must. The only reason she's going is because I have her sister, which is this one. So I have her. I had to pick between one of these two, and she has a very, very noticeable scaleless head markings right there on her nose, and I just kind of like the higher um, expression scaleless head. I think it makes them look really cool. Beautiful girl. So I'm keeping her, and this girl is going to be available. Let's do 800. I mean, this thing is, when you, whenever you open, I open up this door, I'm like, oh my God, I shouldn't sell this thing. I mean, it glows, like, it's crazy. Like, have, imagine having this in your rack when you open it up. Need it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so beautiful, again, GHI, Mojave, probable vanilla, scaleless head, female, 100% head hypo, ghost, um, for you. Take her before I have to keep her and get in trouble because I have no room. Next up. This is what we've all been waiting for. <sighs> Not just playing. But um, I gotta show this to you. Look at her. She is my little emoji pie girl. Little crying face. On the other side, she's got this cool little like uh, paradoxy dark spot. And let's just show it. Some of those sunglasses. The little emoji. She's a double emoji pie with the paradoxy. She's honestly really freaking cool. Uh, she's one of my holdbacks from last year. The uh, only reason I'm gonna put her up is because. We have some adult pies now, some adult female pies. I couldn't wait to grow her up. <laughs> uh, rush in a whole bunch. Um, so she will be available. We also have a bunch of combo pies growing up. So just a normal pie girl has to make room. And she's low white. Um, beautiful, beautiful sides. About, what is that, a third, about a quarter of her body is white. 
Honestly, it's gorgeous. Big, big black splotches everywhere. I love this girl. Um, I don't want her to go, but it's time for her to go. Oh, yeah, huh? 600 $600 dollars. Buy her. She needs a new home. She's homeless. Oh, yeah. Forgot about this little one. So, I didn't think I was going to sell them, but I realized I have the dad. Don't really need to keep them. I'll use the dad to try to prove it out. But this is a beautiful black pastel plus. I don't know. It didn't, when we hatched out, it doesn't look like any of the other black pastels that we hatched uh, from the clutch. Way darker. Uh, the full black back. Um, some beautiful, the beautiful circles that are like not connected at all. Like they're just individual circles. Almost like, I don't know. Some people are saying it's a black pastel blackhead. Um, I don't know. Those eye stripes are really weird and connected and high on the sides. Um, I have not proven out what it is yet. I have the dad, so I'm going to keep him. Uh, he's also 100% head albino. Um, beautiful boy. Well started, just gorgeous. And I don't know what, I, what it is, so you could get lucky. Could be just the most beautiful black vest I've ever seen in my life, who knows. But it definitely didn't look like any of the other ones. Like look at the head, is like black. Um, but let's just do him for 250. So black vest plus 100% head albino, 250 male. Uh, well started, just gorgeous. Maybe you prove it out to be something else like chocolate. Some people are saying chocolate or blackhead. I, I don't know. Um, the dad was a Craigslist buy. Actually, I'll show you him real fast. If you guys want to see him. Let me pull him out real fast. So this is him. And he is absolutely stunning. So he's also got those same eye stripes. Um, he's got the really cool pattern. Oh, this is making me think he's more than black pastel albino. Um, I just don't know what it is. Because we did definitely hatch some black pastels out of the clutch. Um, and they were 100% head albino. And they were cool. But they looked like black pastels. Just normal black pastels. And then that one came out. Uh, two of the normals that were normal. They weren't normal. I just couldn't tell what it was. It was so subtle. Um, but it was really cool. So, you never mind. You know. You can get lucky. Go ahead and get a baby from this guy. See what it is. It's cheap too, 250. So let me know. I'm keeping him though. Mm. So guys, that's it for all the ones we have available right now that we're showing off. We do have a few more available, but those still need to eat and whatnot. So uh, if you want any of these, hit me up on here, Instagram, Facebook, email anywhere um we appreciate all your business we appreciate all you guys watching our videos it means a whole lot to us um we're back on top of doing videos I got like three videos filmed just editing them today we get those posted up every friday but this is our little special like what we have available video we're gonna start doing these uh that way we can kind of show you guys what we have available and you guys can buy it <laughs> i appreciate every every one of you thank you so much